Hey, what's up guys? Nick the Informative Fisherman here. And today I'm going to be breaking down January's Lucky Tackle Box. This is the panfish box we're doing. We're right now we're out here on the California Delta, right in the Discovery Bay area. And I've honed in on some crappie, so I'm trying to pick them off. It's real hard for me to do that filming and tutorial stuff when I'm catching crappie because I am so antsy and worked up right now. I love catching these paper mouths. But I'm gonna break down, oh, 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 I'm gonna break down how to rig it, how to rig these baits, how to catch fish on these baits, and hopefully get you out doing it like that too. There's a little crappie, but man, these are a whole lot of fun to catch. When you fire up these big schools, they're an absolute blast and talk about table fare. All right, let's see what we got. First off, something I've been using, the crappie bites. Squeezing these down on your hook when those crappie are slow and lethargic, a lot of the time it's gonna give them that little extra added boost to set and they'll hone in on your bait and eat it and hang on to it a little bit better. There we go. Get some of those pellets. Really, really pliable. Stick that bad boy in your pocket. Could be pretty stinky, so don't leave it in your pocket and throw it in the wash machine. And definitely do not let it hit the dryer. That could be all bad. Lower it right there to the bend of your hook. Squeeze it on. Super pliable stuff, just like that. I'm throwing a white grub right now, which it didn't come in the box, but I'm using that scent on there. Um, strictly because the water's real dirty today and I'm looking for something to stand out. I've also been using some of these chartreuse baits in there, which I'm gonna show you in a second. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> that, oh yeah. That is what we put that on there for. <laughs> that is why you want to enhance your baits a lot of the time with that scent. I just threw that spot. I didn't get bit. Look what I got now. Yeah. Uh, if you want to put it in your refrigerator, you can increase the longevity of the life of this bait. Um, you know, plus wife's girlfriends, mother-in-laws, mothers, they all love bait in the refrigerator. I mean, just ask mine, they love it. Okay, second is these Popeye Stingers by Cabin Creek Baits. They're like a little leech style bait. I was using the chartreuse one. Luckily for me, I get the different colors, but depending on what you got in your box, in this real dirty water, this black color like this can work substantially well. I'm rigging this on 164 ounce jig heads up to 132nd ounce jig heads, and I'll also do like a little drop shot style, which I will be doing with the Skinny Bear uh, drop shot hooks right here. These are really, really cool. You can use them for live bait, or for drop shotting. And I'll show you, I'll go ahead and rig that up and break these bad boys down. Awesome little super sharp hooks and I got shaky hands so I stick myself all the time. Okay, so I rigged the drop shot with my Popeye Stinger right there on my Skinny Bear hook. The rigging that hook, I did a Palomar knot down to a little tiny drop shot weight below. I got that dropper set at about 10 inches. These fish are lethargic, they're holding it to the bottom. It's winter time, let's throw it out there, see what we can make happen. Felt like he just hit, he did hit it right at the boat. That didn't take very long. Yeah, baby, Woo! <laughs> oh, 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 calm down, calm down. Black crappie, right there. Nice little drop shot setup, perfect for winter time pan fish. Especially crappie and big old giant red ears. Yeah, baby, check him out. Not big, but a good tasting fish. Okay, now I got these chartreuse bonehead slim sticks right here. These things are sweet. I've had the opportunity to fish these before. I'm also gonna put these on that same drop shot, but I like to put these on eighth ounce jig heads and 132nd ounce jig heads. But this time, I'm gonna drop shot this bad boy. I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna nose hook it, just like so, to where when I dance that around, he's gonna shift move freely on that hook bend, like so, and hopefully get us another big crappie. This feels like a bass. Oh, it's not a bass, it's, a, oh, it's a big red ear. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, I can't swing this one. I can't swing him. I'm gonna swing him. Don't break. <laughs> Old Delta red ear right there. They're hybrids out here. Awesome, awesome fish. Let's let them go. 
So in my package, I got two different bags of boneheads right here. There's that other one I just showed you, and another cool one right here that's chartreuse, has two appendages and a little paddle tail in between. It falls real slow, weightless. I got it on that big bear hook, my four pound line. I'm throwing it out there. I'm fishing over about four or five foot deep of grass, letting it get down there, ripping it up, those little appendages flutter, and it kind of just eases back down, and those crappie are grabbing it on the fall. Drew them over. All right, lubricate that knot up. Now, what I just pulled out of the box was a Z-Man chatterbait. And if you've been with Lucky Tackle Box and had the panfish box, more than likely you've got one of these already. I cannot believe they included it in this month's box again. These things are so deadly, I'm an addict. Not only do I fish crappie with these and big red ear with these, I love bass in the wintertime, and especially spotted bass and smallmouth crush these little things. They vibrate like mad in the water. And talk about a fish catching machine. Let's see what we can make happen. That's it. Oh, turn them down, turn them down. Paper mouth, paper mouth. Come here, Mr. Crappy. <laughs> right there on that little chatterbait. A lot of the time, if you squeeze them right here at the back of the gill where like the ear is, you squeeze them, you can pin that fish and keep them from shaking around. Otherwise, they'll start bouncing them around in your hand a lot, fall on their head. Uh, if you're trying to release them, it ain't good for the fish, but pin them by the ears, hold them nice and snug, prevent them from shaking, go ahead and get that hook out. Now here's something cool, the Ripper Rat. It's made by Lip Rippers, okay? It's like a, like a tadpole looking deal right there, and they float. So let me pop one of these out and show you this. These are really, really cool baits. What you can do is you can Carolina rig these, okay? Put you a little swivel up your line with a little tiny egg weight in front of it, and put these, you can even put them on the hooks that came with, Look at these things right here. Chartreuse, white, super durable, and they're buoyant. So that Carolina rig, that weight's gonna drop down, and this little bait's gonna suspend up behind it and work around, float over the grass line. You can also drop shot these, which is, which is what I'm gonna be doing right now, is drop shotting these bad boys for some of these Delta crappie. Very, very cool and unique bait. All right, so I got my Ripper Rat on a drop shot because I like to get it right over the top of the weeds how I'm at here. If it was a clearer, harder bottom without as much snotty grass, I'd be definitely doing that Carolina rig like I told you. So I casted out that Ripper Rat on the drop shot. I'm just slowly shaking it and just trying to drag my weight. I'm not hopping my weight. I want the attention to be on the bait. I don't want to distract those crappie from the goal here. I want them to eat that little Ripper Rat, right? Hold on. Go. Oh, another nice crappie. Woo! Woo! You good? You good? You good? All right. Here, grab. Dang. That dude got it good. <laughs> Choked it. I just felt him tap it, too. I thought that guy was nipping the tail, but he choked it. All right, the wedge tail minnow. These things are made by Egret Baits. Uh, you can check them out at egretbaits.com. These are the crappie minnow. These things for little tiny soft plastics, I was shocked at how much thought went into the making of these baits right here. I'm gonna show you something. You're gonna have to zoom in here. I want you to look at this tail. This is the minnow upright. Go ahead and zoom in on that for me. If you see the way that tail gets real thick and has that little forked out edge right there, what this tail is designed for is the primary part of the bait. The whole front end of the bait sits dead steady and the tail will kick at extremely low speeds. This is the first time I've seen this in a small minnow bait. These things work phenomenal in cold water. I'm going to rig it up on a 132nd ounce jig head, but you can rig it up on all the different size jig heads to get it to get it weighted, you know, 8th ounce, get it down there real deep, 164, super shallow, and creep it over that grass line. I'm going to throw it on 132nd ounce jig head right now to get it down to that 4 or 5 foot grass line. I know the crappie are going to smoke this. Looks just like a small window, uh, small minnow. The water's dirty. That chartreuse back, chartreuse back right there is going to help. Clear bottom looks very, very natural. Oh, that's a big one. Woo! <laughs> oh, oh boy. That's a big crop. Woo! <laughs> yeah, right there on that wedge tail, guys. 
I know some of you guys got those Roadrunner underspins too. I just checked my other box that I got and I got those in there. If you guys haven't had a chance to use the uh, under the Roadrunner underspins with a little bait on there, those things work phenomenally well. Those little tiny blades on the bottom kick a lot. It gets that attention focused on your bait rigging on the back of there. A lot of these plastics that you received in your box today, you could also put on those Roadrunner underspins, guys. So give it a shot. Visit LuckyTackleBox.com. And if you're not signed up, get signed up, guys. Super awesome baits. Yeah, baby. Delta slabs. Woo!